Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today I'm going to bring you CC Cycle 1, Week 11, Hands-On Science Experiment, which is all about parts of a flower. So for this experiment, some supplies you'll need are some live flowers, and this is just an example. These are fake flowers, but I've heard that lilies are really good flowers for this type of um, a dissection and, and looking at the parts of a, of a flower because the different parts are really visible on lilies. So you can kind of see some of the different parts on here. And so you'll need flowers, maybe ideally probably one for each student, or if you, you can have them work in pairs and they can both look at the same flower. Um, for my class, also for some supplies, I found these on CC Connected um, from CC user Carolyn J. Baltazar. And it just has some boxes here with the names of different parts of a flower. So what I'm going to have them do, I'll have give each of them one of these sheets and we'll have some tape. And they can, once they take their flower apart and find the different parts of the flower, we'll tape each part of the flower in one of these squares. Or another idea is you could have them draw the different parts of a flower. So. Maybe they could have a pencil and, you know, draw a picture of what a petal looks like or the stamen or the anther. So those are some ideas um, for how to, for, for having them display the different parts that they find. So um, that is that. And then, so to talk about the parts of a flower, we're actually learning that in new grammar this week. So we're learning the petal, stamen, anther, pistil, and sepal. So CC user uh, Capel has this diagram that is nice to show. So I'm going to have these uh, for each student so they can kind of see, okay, where are these different parts of a flower? Um, there's also this on CC Connected. Also, uh, this is from Nicole Liam. So she shows a few more parts of a flower and she gives a good description of the different parts here. So that might be helpful for a tutor to have and just so you can give a little bit more description of what those are. So some good things to talk about are you can ask them, is it a good time to review some of the science that we've had in New Grammar this semester? So like what kingdom are flowers, they're plantae, and flowers grow from seeds. So what are some types of seed plants? We have monocot, dicot, and conifer. And then what are some parts of a plant? We have the leaves, stems, roots, and they'll be able to see uh, the leaves and the stems and identify those on their flowers. So those are some good things to review as you're looking at your flower. So you can ask them questions like, are all flowers the same? You can talk about, okay, why did God give plants flowers? What is their purpose? Is it just to look beautiful? Um, they do look beautiful, but they have a, a very important purpose for the plant. It's like the structure that contains everything the plant needs to make seeds, which grow into new plants. And so you'll talk about what each of the different parts of the flower does, like the petals attract bees and other pollinators. And then um, there's the anther in the stamen, which um, make the pollen. So the pollinators get that pollen on their legs and they carry that to another flower. And then the flower has the pistil, um, which is the top part here, and that is kind of sticky. So when a bee lands on it, some of that pollen gets stuck to the pistil and goes down into the ovaries inside the flower. And that's where the seeds are created. So it, the, the flower needs that pollen to create the seeds to reproduce a new plant. So flowers have a very important purpose for a plant. They're not just to look beautiful. So just to talk about that and, you know, ask them some questions, get their thoughts on flowers and are all flowers the same? And no, they're not. So some, um, some flowers are structured a little differently, um, but for... If you can, get lilies are really helpful for this experiment to see the different parts. Some flowers, some of the parts are a little harder to see, but they, they have those parts. So I recommend just having like a diagram 
um, for the students to kind of see what the different parts are as they look at their flower and then kind of take it apart. And then if you want to, they can have, you know, they can display the different parts they find. We're going to tape parts of the flower onto our sheet here, or they can draw the parts of the flower too. So that is it for week 11's hands-on science experiment, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!